If Vegas is Sin City, then this is its capital building. The MGM Grand is home of world champion boxers, and last week Joseph Parker was able to see in the flesh the best pound for pound boxer in the world fight Robert Guerrero. I've been here like three, four weeks, so I've only been in the MGM once. I've been in one other building once, and that's it. But it's cool though, like experiencing it, but uh, only two buildings so far. That's because Kevin Barry's training him so hard, he's too tired. And he's used to throw the punches, make the pace. Days start at 5.30 a.m., six days a week, three times a day. And it's all 20 minutes away from the strip, which Parker can't get to because he doesn't have a car. I would like to see more Vegas, but I think uh, it'll uh, corrupt my boxing. Get that shoulder up here for this. Parker is swapping Vegas for Los Angeles this week, fighting Kiwi Bryce Ritani Co on Friday as a warm-up to the Francois boat about June 13. If he does what he did today, knows when to punch, knows when to move, he might not knock Francois Boat out, but he'll beat him. That's music to the ears of Parker's promoters who stand to lose upwards of $200,000 if he was to lose this week. Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Oh, I better, um, yeah, I'll, no, I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> I'll get the win. <laughs> no pressure then. Craig Stanaway, One News, Las Vegas. There isn't a crazier place on earth, but there is something about Las Vegas. Sure, it's a false city. It's also a place where real people shine through. Here's, here's my, uh, my untidy office, so. You are an absolute neat freak. What, <laughs> this, is, this is as neat as it can be. Oh no, this is, for me, this is not. This is, uh, this is a little untidy. Seven years after moving to Vegas, four years after that court case, Kevin Barry is well and truly back. This is the first time I've worked with a Samoan fighter since they were tour. This is the first time that I've had a fighter live in my house since they were tour. The fighter he's talking about is 21-year-old rising star Joseph Parker. Barry's not doing it for the money, his contract's only for eight weeks. He's not doing it for the profile. He's already trained two world champions since tour. I like to give back, it makes me feel better about myself, I think it, it makes me, um, it gives you a, fen a feeling of, of purpose and self-worth, that, uh, that your life actually matters because of the way you can influence other people's lives. But if you read Chris Myram's book about the tour split, which Barry's never read, should Parker be living with Barry? There's a passage in here, can I read it to you? <laughs> One thing, he talks about the tour split, did teach me it's not healthy to be that close to someone. Right. I told myself I'd never again have such an emotional attachment to a fighter. Right. And I've seen you with Joseph, <laughs> and you've got an emotional attachment. Well, you know, I'm, like, I'm a very passionate person. Everything that I do in my life, I put my heart and soul into, and I do 100%. Kevin can't change who he is, and you know, you can always say it's just a business and, you know, keep the fighter and or athlete coach um, separate. But it's who Kevin is. It was, it's like his dad. They, they take you into their family and they love you and they do anything and they're loyal for you. Inviting Parker in also has a lot to do with Barry's mother. She has a Queen Services medal for looking after foster children. Boom. My father has two lots of Queen's Islands. I'm very proud of my mother and father. You know, we're all sort of reflections of our parents. And I always think that, uh, I always try to be, a, to be a good person. And I really don't want to change that generosity of his spirit, and that's, that's what he does. And, you know, and he's doing the same thing again, but that, that's, he's happy, Joseph seems happy. Don't take her word for it, judge for yourself. We'll play one song together and our teacher's really basic. <laughs> it's a third one. 
It is an intelligence test, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm it. failing it. You nearly got it. I can't believe I'm doing this on TV. That's it, you yeah, go we up. did it. We, got, we went through once. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's gangster Raz. <laughs> <laughs> I think people could tell you're pretty happy here. I have everything that makes me happy. I've made you really happy here. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. But with my kids that were in the same boat, I would like to think that somebody was taking care of them the same way, so... I made a promise to his mother and father, you know, that once we walked through the gate at Auckland Airport, that I would become Joseph's guardian and I would treat him like I treat my own sons, and, and I believe I've done that. <laughs>